welcome, 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 good morning. We're going to do a little play cappy. Okay, we're going to do the first half of the month, and we're going to do the road spread, okay? We're going to talk about the core issue, the past feelings, or the attitude that you've had towards it. You're going to talk about, um, you know, give you the advice, how you're presently feeling, what you keep forgetting, and I've been doing this all week, or even yesterday. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, where it's heading in the advice for the future. I should really just write this down. So, it's been a crazy morning. I had to get out. I had to vote. I gotta maintain my children. Kids are home today because school system. We're voting in the school system. So it's just a lot. So bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. Um, I really feel like it's just time for my copies to take a break. Is what I was getting. Okay. Um, it's a lot going on. Are you really happy with your current situation type thing? Um, I feel like you're questioning it. Um, where does you want to go? You know, what needs to be closed? You know, like, do you have the closure? If you haven't gotten the closure, try to find your own closure. Um, just try to, don't be afraid to tap into to, to the divine for those who hesitate whether or not to tap in. All right. Um, just kind of feel like you're not following your soul. And I don't feel like you're intentionally doing that to yourself. I just kind of feel like that's happening. Okay. So let's, uh, let me tap in to what it is that's going on with you. And, um, go from there, okay? So, let's find out what your core issue is. Find out what the core issue is. My lipstick looks crooked. I know, you guys. I use you as a mirror. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, cappies. Kappa, kappa, kappa is core issue. Next two weeks, going on with my caps. All right, so we got the five of swords. Definitely feeling defeated. You know exactly how I felt. Like, not necessarily the whole defeated thing, but like, you know, having to take a break. Like, not really figuring out or following, you know, the, your soul type thing. Let me, um, let me darken this green and then the light in the back won't be so bright. Okay? So, five of swords. So the issue is you're, you're mentally and physically drained at this point. Okay? Um, you need some rest. If you're mentally, you know, I feel like you're overdue on rest, and I talked about that, you know, like, I feel like you need a break, and you need an effing break, all right, um, this means you didn't get the rest you were supposed to, and now you feel defeated, so I, I need you guys to take a break, you most definitely need a break, okay, I can't stress it enough, this is time to take care of you, take care of yourself, um, past feelings or attitude towards something. Past feelings. And again, right off the bat, I'm feeling feeling two energies. I got the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups. So in the past, it looks like you just wanted happy. You wanted a reconciliation. You just wanted to settle down. Um, but we got the four of swords. You, you should have rested. I don't think you did. Some of you were too party busying. I mean, too busy partying. For those who weren't partying, these were just hopes and desires. Um, a positive attitude, but you're tired. You got the four of what? The four of 
from you know from my boy the four of swords all right so it's best but you never you never let your brain mentally rest you know what i'm saying like and then again the three and the ten so it's like i think you were feeling like all these great things can happen or maybe possibly have a, a reconciliation but you Maybe you took a little bit of a break from it and started hanging out with your friends. Um, but mentally, you're still extremely conflicted. So it must have to do with a household issue, a family issue, a lover issue. You know, you're happy. Or you were partying too much. But I kind of don't see it like that. For some. Let's see the past actions, because this was how you were feeling. So you were just tired, I think, trying to have a reconciliation, tired of trying to be happy, but not being happy. You know, the past action, again, the Ten of Cups, because I have two Ten of Cups, so it's like, holy shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, again, in the past, you were just trying to complete your happiness. You were just trying to feel fulfilled, you know? So it's like, holy crap. You just wanted your happy back. You just wanted peace with something. You just wanted to feel abundant all the way around, like every aspect of your life. And you were just so focused on that. And now you feel defeated, conflicted. Let's get your advice. Advice for this situation. of swords with the damn tower this king of swords is very intense very um logical a little arrogant but practical going right towards the tower so your advice is to accept the change accept the, sh the shift if something crashed down, accept it. Or accept an Aquarius. Sorry about this King of Swords. But accept the, the change that's coming if it hasn't come yet, you know? Sorry about the King of Swords. Um, yeah, balancing out the situation with the Two of Pentacles. The best advice is to temper your energy, I think, when it comes to this situation, too. Okay. Um, you got a, a strong Aquarius and Scorpio right here, too. How are you presently feeling? How are you presently feeling? There's a lot. So you want this shift. You know, it's the Ace of Wands and it's going in the same direction as all these Ten of Cups. So it's like, I think you're so focused on just moving or getting a house, having a new start. That's the shift you're waiting for. I don't think you're trying to temper the energy out with this situation anymore in the past. But in a way, the universe is saying, temper that energy, balance everything out. Because currently, you want this new start. You're looking right at that ton of cups. Where's this heading? Three of Swords. What this is telling me is that it looks like whatever this is, a conversation or something, this sudden shift is going to stir up your emotions. And it's a tower moment, so tell me about this three of swords. It's a tower moment, so you are going to feel that way, you know? What is this? It's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. 
It's all looking right towards all this stuff on my table. Every single card it is staring at. So it's kind of like it. It's just timing for this tower to come in. It's timing. It's just timing for this shift. Okay. But it is a new start. Advice for the next two weeks. The moon, go towards the unknown. It's saying go towards the unknown. Okay. Um, balance out this energy, whatever is coming in. Whatever's coming in is going to cause sorrow. But it's gonna go in a it's gonna go in a better direction than you think it is. It's almost like I really feel this denial. Like your eyes are shut in these cards. Okay. Your eyes are shut over here. You have no eyes in this one. You only got one eye open here. One eye open over here. This one's eye shut too. You don't even have two eyes in any of these. No one's looking, you know. It. You're obviously not communicating with this person. The communication is going to come in. It's going to cause a tower moment. It's going to cause sorrow. It's the way everything was supposed to go down. Your advice is to move forward with it. So whatever this is, whether... It's a love situation, a family situation, a friendship situation, any type of situation, guys. The universe is saying go towards the unknown. Yeah, it's going to cause sorrow. You're either wrapping something up or something's coming back together. But regardless, this is the sorrow. Somebody's feeling defeated. It looks like possibly the King of Swords might be feeling defeated. But kind of so, so want you. I didn't want this to happen. You, my damn cat. I'm telling you, it's cap on cap. The, the both of you are working with cap energy that's not even in your zodiac. It's always in your zodiac, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so just my advice alone for my single cap. <laughs> single meaning like a do like one singular. Okay. Zodiac itself. You know, get out of feeling defeated. You know, get on the boat. You know. Your best advice for this situation is to go towards the unknown. Get on the boat. Get out of the stormy water. You need a break. Especially after this tower moment. But it looks like something very fortunate is going to go down. Okay? It still looks like it's going to have a great outcome. So let's get yeah, a moon card. Just do your best. Try to come out of feeling defeated. Okay. I think you're going to reach. <clears throat> I definitely feel like you're going to reach your ten of cups. Okay. I just don't think it's the way you think it is. Conclusion is within reach. Okay. <clears throat> I, I really truly believe you need to go towards the unknown now. So. Which I think it has a lot to do with spirituality too, because I was saying, don't be afraid to, keep on going to go. With ten times. Okay, I'll be out in a minute, please. So I'm good. wrapping this up. Thank you. Great. I'm not looking forward to that. Going towards the divine. Okay. Conclusion is is in within reach. Just like that, the door slams shut. If you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about has reached its peak, peak, or it has just done so. And things are now about to come into your hands. 
you are experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, the way you learn and the way you evolve. It also allows these events to unfold. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it is the right time, as hard as it may be. Forgiving somebody for what they did should be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. Make right what you did or they did or release it so you can move on. Attune to the moon. That which this is meant, which will, whatever is meant for me, will not pass me by. Doors which slam shut will not reopen. The time is for you to get back on track. Forgiveness will set you free of karma. Meditation, yoga, anything like that is recommended now. Okay. Um, let go of the control and let these events just unfold. Because I'm telling you, they're coming. These events are coming. It's, it's just timing. It looks like a conversation, you know, and it's like, it's going to cause headache. Some of you literally have to walk away from this and others, they want you to work on it and go towards the unknown. And it's funny because this is the, the moon card with the moon, you know, go towards the unknown. Conclusions are within reach. It's, it's coming around. Okay. Um, it might be hard for you to handle. It might be an uncomfortable situation. It's saying work with your darkness. Sometimes, you know, like I said before, that dark can help. Okay. It can be a strength sometimes too if you know how to if you know how to work it. All right. So it's it suggests that the situation is about to reach a peak. Okay. Things that you thought were out of your hands, whatever it is you're expecting, you know, your soul signed up for this. It was a way for you to learn and evolve. They should unfold. Okay. If you're letting go of someone or something, know it's the right time. It's hard. Forgiving somebody, forgiving somebody for what they did can be key to resolving this situation in a positive way. So some you need to completely release, but others you need to forgive and move forward. Because your best advice was to, to blend this. You can have all this. It just didn't, it just didn't take place when you thought it was going to take place. Okay. Um, these events are going to unfold. Doors which slam shut now will not reopen. So if what this is saying too, if you hash it out, you know, let bygones be bygones and leave it in the past. Okay. It was just um seventeen seventeen. Spiritual meaning for seventeen seventeen. It's exactly what it just said, too. You know, whatever your heart desires, that type of stuff. It, it's reached a stage where it's, o it's over and new desires are coming in. Okay. So, it's up to you whether or not you want to forgive and move forward and go towards the unknown. Or you slam the door shut and you don't look back and you move forward. Okay? Like, you guys, I got... You're dealing with a cat. Or somebody who's in that cat energy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just, you need a break. You need a break. All right. Um, take time to take this break. It's very, very needed. Okay. Um, go after your heart desire. You know, are you really going after what your soul wants? We talked about that. All right. That's exactly what that's saying. You need to, and some need to accept closure. So we both literally had all both of those scenarios in that one spread. So you're just gonna have to determine who's who. Okay. Um, I wish you the very best. I love you guys.